gosh, it's the first day of school and everybody keeps looking at me. My school supplies are so basic. Oh my gosh, stop looking. Wait, is that Becky over there? Oh, don't, don't look. This school year, don't be basic. <laughs> Okay, so today in this week's video, I'm going to be doing a DIY school supplies video and this is mainly just going to be focusing on some notebooks and how to make your notebooks cute and everything. They're really easy, really inexpensive and you just gotta try them. One of them, my favorites, is going to be the Polaroid one or the scrapbook memory clothes pins one. So check that out in this upcoming video. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you a few different ways to spice up your notebooks and school supplies for this upcoming school year. If you're going back to school and you want something to do over the summertime, before school starts or you're just bored I don't know whatever works for you but yeah um, if you're just as excited as I am for school which I'm not um, give this video a thumbs up I mean if you're not excited you can thumbs this video up anyway um, and yeah without further ado let's get into the video Whoosh. all right so for this first DIY we are just going to be finding ways to spice up your binders and this is so easy all you're gonna need is a binder, a scrapbooking paper of your choice, as well as a chalkboard nameplate and a writing utensil. You could totally use chalk for this, but I decided to use Sharpie. So what you're gonna do is take your nameplate sticker, which I got at Michael's, and place it wherever you'd like. I chose to put it into the center, and I like this really cool, like, pixelated background that I got and you could write whatever subject you want for your class but I decided to write flawless Kevin because this is going to be my YouTube binder and yeah it's simple as that you can change it every now and then and it's so easy and I'm pretty sure you can do this for all different subjects in school so have fun with it and be expressing your personality and everything <laughs> So for this next DIY, it is going to be a cupcake sticker notebook DIY, and it is so cute, you guys. So all you're going to be needing is a notebook, as well as scrapbooking paper of your choice, a statement sticker, some scissors, as well as a glue stick. And the first thing you're going to want to do is glue down your piece of paper onto the notebook, and I glued it onto the notebook as well as the piece of paper itself. That way it's more secure. And then you're just going to line up the paper onto the notebook and making sure that it's not all weird or anything. So once you have that secured, and everything you're gonna want to flip it over slap it a couple times like your booty no just kidding um and then you're just gonna want to trim the excess pieces of paper and take your time with this part girl because i messed up and it got like really raggedy and it was not cute but anyway so you're gonna want to glue down the four corners once you are done that way you can make sure it's secure and it stays in place and once you have glued down all of the corners i'm taking the statement sticker from target it was only 99 cents and it's so cute they had different shapes and sizes and everything as well so you can play around with it but I placed it into the center and it is so adorable and making sure there's no air bubbles or anything and then an optional thing that I did was use masking tape you could also use washi tape and I just taped it onto the um, binding I guess and then making sure that it's more secure and then just taping that into the inside of the notebook so it's more secure and on fleek and it's so cute all your friends will be super jealous when you whip this out of your backpack and yes so for my last notebook DIY, it is going to be a Polaroid memory board and I came up with this on my own and I was so cute and I was so excited to share this with y'all. You're just going to need a notebook, hot glue gun, as well as some clothes pins and Polaroids and or a memoir that you want to put onto your notebook. So the first thing you're going to want to do is adjust and place your pictures on the notebook. That way you know where to glue and you don't mess it up. So once you have figured out your arrangement and everything, um, you're just going to want to hot glue your clothes pins onto to the notebook and I personally suggest putting the picture on the clothes pin that way you can measure it out exactly just be careful not to get the hot glue onto your actual pictures or else it might ruin it and once you have glued it onto the clothes pins immediately put it on the notebook or else it's gonna harden real fast it hardens real fast letting you know by the way so you're gonna immediately 
put it on the notebook making sure it is smushed down and everything so it stays in place and then you're just going to want to clip on your pictures and it's so cute so you can have so much fun with this you can have all different shapes and sizes with your pictures big or small and I put some prom tickets as well as a photo booth picture as well um, especially if you're coming out of high school and going to college and you just want some memories um, and I personally use this as a night side table notebook rather than like something to put in my backpack because I don't want to get to get ruined so yeah just put in your journals and notes and everything in there all right you guys thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and if you did like this video up and if you want it I am doing a giveaway video and I will be linking that in the description down below because I hit 10k recently which I want to thank y'all so much but I'm doing a back to school supplies video um, and a giveaway as well so link will be in the description if you want to enter and I will be doing a meetup at vlogger fair and all the meetup details will be in the description down below so if you're from the Seattle area and want to go to vlogger fair and meet other youtubers as well as my I will be there. I will have a discount code and everything for y'all if you want to purchase tickets. But um, yeah, hopefully I see you there. And until next time, stay flawless. And I hope you guys all have a blessed day. Bye!